We're going to go over just from front to end, just kind of the onboarding process, what you should know uh, when you're going to join eXp Commercial and how you get started. Um, so you may, you may know some of this. Uh, some of this is probably going to be new, but we're going to go over all the tools and resources that you have available to you and how to find them and uh, get trained up on them. So uh, there's a process to join. Oh, any questions to start with? No, this is actually, I was telling Larry, this is what I needed to see because I pay for a lot of subscriptions. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I want to see if there's any of them I can cancel. That would be good. And oh, that, that was the main thing when I first, so uh, one of the tools alone, uh, I was paying more for that per month than the entire fee that I pay monthly to eXp for everything. So I'm getting over a thousand dollars worth per month of tools mm -hmm included. And that was that alone. I was like, okay, well, that just makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That's just loop net alone. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, all right. So the, I'll just walk you through the process. You probably already know about this. Um, there's, you know, pre-application all the way uh, to, to onboarding. Pre-application is really, they're just going to uh, just see if you're ready for commercial. They're going to kind of uh, put you into a different buckets. If you're a brand new commercial agent or if you're seasoned, there's going to be a different process for you. If you're brand new, they're going to put you through what's called the Accelerate program. Uh, it's a four-week program. You, you go through every single day for, for, for four weeks, and they train you on all the basics that you probably should know on commercial, prospecting, how you should be building your uh, business, and then they'll match you up with the mentor at the end of that so you can kind of get going uh, appropriately. They don't just like send you out to the wolves and say, good luck. Um, so that's kind of what pre-application is. Then you just apply. Very simply, you just go to expcommercial.com. When you're on this page, after you click apply, you'll see another link where you can go over to the EXP Realty side. If you're seeing that, that means you're on the commercial side. So just make sure you apply as a commercial agent when you do that. And that's, again, you just go to expcommercial.com. Bunch of forms. Uh, I won't go over these, but you basically just answer some questions. Uh, at the end of that, they're going to review that, and then they're going to send you a, a, a contract to sign, uh, your co contract for commercial. And then assuming you do that, then you go to the next steps. There it is. That's the uh, uh, ICA that you sign. And then your commercial broker of record for the state will approve you. At that point, what you're going to see is they're going to set a, up a commercial email for you once you apply. And that's where you're going to get all these things. So here's just some, some uh, short list of companies that we've partnered with that you get included. So Reonomy was the one I was talking about. I was paying about $300 a month for Reonomy. And uh, the, the fee for EXP commercial at this time is $250 a month. And, it's, and Reonomy is included, uh, Enriched Data, SkySlope, uh, Brevitas, Buildout can cost you over $500 a month, depending on what you have it as. So... Um, all of these will automatically set up an account for you for your commercial email address. So as you're getting set up, once you're approved, they're going to send you some emails that tell you how to set up your commercial ad, uh, email. And it's going to be your name, your first name dot your last name at expcommercial.com. And all of these programs are going to send you login information based on that email. Okay, so make sure when you're, when you're getting set up that you look for that because that's how they're going to set up all your accounts. You can obviously uh, do some troubleshooting with them if you like. Uh, and then there's the world, EXP world. Have you been briefed on the world? Uh, yes, but I've been uh, finishing up a restaurant right now. So I okay. am been distracted yeah. and I need a refresher. So this was good timing. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So the, the, it's a digital world where there's all kinds of stuff. There's a commercial office that you can go to. So if you have any questions, there's like, a, if you look here, when you log in, there's a drop down and you can go to EXP commercial and then all of the different areas. So we have training most days. There's commercial training on different things. We have product specialties. So the multifamily group meets once a month in the auditorium. So there's usually about right now, there's about a hundred people that'll show up every single month. And we can trade deals. We can uh, do networking. Uh, it's very helpful. There's stuff for uh, self-storage, uh, mobile home parks, retail office, business development, everything in commercial. All, all the different product types have a group that'll meet there. There's also training on different stuff as well. 
and that's where you'll find it. So there's actually a, within our links that I think Lawrence will share with you, there's an actual calendar of events. So you can see when, when everything's happening in commercial. And uh, so we just go on there and we log in there. It's it, the world I've found is very helpful. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go schedule a call with anyone. If I have a question for my commercial broker of record for California, the guy who's in charge of me in California, I can just go to his office within the world and sit down during his office hours and, and have a chat with him and ask him questions. If I have a question for the team, I can just go in there and just sit down and talk to them. It's very quick and easy. And it's, it's a lot easier than trying to travel somewhere or having an office. Uh, I'm actually working on a deal right now in Australia and there's an Australia EXP office in the world. Uh, they're in 47 states on the re residential side. The commercial side, again, just started last year. But I was able to sit down uh, with the Australia office when they opened up at you know 4.30 our time and say, hey, I've got a you know $5 million deal. This guy wants to open a new office. He wants to move 15 minutes down the road. Do you have a commercial agent that I can partner with in your area? And they hooked me up with someone. And now we're working on a $5 million warehouse uh, project in Australia. So it's, and that, for me, it's been really helpful because I actually do a lot of deals out of state. And so you obviously need a broker in the different states and I can just sit down with the state broker for whatever I'm working on, um, you know, Tennessee, Florida, whatever. And they'll connect me with someone where I can use their license and get paid out there. So it's very helpful. So you want to pay attention there. They can help you set up the EXP world. And uh, if you have any questions, there's uh, uh, right when you log in, there's actually a self-help desk or a help desk where there's someone always manning that and they can direct you however you need. So that's EXP world. Um, and as far as arm boarding goes, that would be it for getting started. Um, I'd like to share some of the tools we have. So you saw there, we've got a couple of things. So the $250 a month that we pay to EXP for our tech fees includes all of this stuff. Uh, you've got build out, which is where we build. Uh, are you familiar with build out at all? I'm not. All right, so I was using build out before as well, but it's how we do a lot of our uh, database management. It's how you do your marketing. I can show you, uh, Lawrence, do you think we have time to show her real briefly kind of what that looks like, or do you want to just kind of? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and show her build out. And what, what is build out exactly? Is that kind of like a CRM or, for, or marketing? It is a CRM. Oh, what is going on here? Cookie settings. Uh, sure. It's a CRM, but it, it's also houses all of our listings. So you, when you have a listing, when you have a proposal, you want to put together an analysis to uh, list a property. This is where you'll go. Okay. So I, I don't know if you've used uh, Realnex or REI Weiss. It functions almost exactly the same, except it's got a whole lot more uh, stuff to it. Let me see if I've got anything. I'll just, oh, you know what? Let me show you the mobile home park. I actually closed a mobile home park at the beginning of the year too from a referral from EXP. Hello. And we closed it. Oh, can you hear me? Hi, Draga. Oh, sorry, one oh. second. Let me, get, let me yeah. can you mute, Simona? Let me see here. Well, I've got control. I've got all the power. Thank you. Is that good? All right. So just as an example, we closed a mobile home park in North Carolina that was brought to me from the residential side. So there's a bunch of networking we can do there as well. But for build out, this is uh, where you'll house all of your stuff with your listing. So it's got all of your tasks to do. Um, when you when you So what you'll do is you upload the property, you do a proposal, and then once they decide they want to list with you, you click one button and it converts everything over to the marketing side. So it opens a website for you. It tracks a bunch of stuff. You can create all kinds of marketing documents. You can, uh, this is where you'll have all of your uh, due diligence housed. And you can even have this. I actually didn't, this was so quick. I didn't do a whole lot with it, but you can share a link here where the client can live in live time, see what you're up to, how much traffic you have on your website, what calls you logged, all the stuff you're doing. You just share a link with them. Uh, website. Did I make even make a website for this? I don't know if we did. Let's view oh. it. I don't know if I even tweaked with this, but I think this, uh, 
yeah, so it's closed, so it doesn't have, but it'll make a website automatically and you can kind of tweak it how you like. Um, and then it'll auto syndicate the listing out to your hookup. So I'm only with Brevitas and Yardy that I have it hooked up with, but there are, I think it's in profile. There's about 50 different sites that this will hook up to and you can just click a button and it'll syndicate out to all the websites. Um, let's see syndication here. Yeah, so here's all the stuff that it'll hook up to. Some of these are free, some of these have cost money, but you can automatically, as, as you get listings, just blast it out to those. So it's very helpful. Um, you've got a full CRM with this as well. It'll hook up to email chimp, I think it's called and some other systems. So if you have a marketing, an email marketing system that you wanna in, engage in, you, it'll do that too. So very, build out very helpful. Reonomy is another example. Let's go back to this guy. Okay. So that'll be where most of your marketing is. Reonomy I was paying for before. This is where you'll find building information, uh, property owner information. This is how you build your database. And this is included as well. Let me just show you real quick. I think we've got a, uh, yeah, let's just do one of these searches here. So I've got a little farm here that I have, a multifamily farm that I pulled together for a list, right? Out here in Sacramento. So this is uh, what it'll search for. I can, I can sort it by people likely to sell if I wanted to. Okay. It compares the properties to things that have sold and say, well, this is most similar within this uh, property type to stuff that's sold. So you can say a high likelihood properties. I'm going to just pull one of these up just to show you what the information looks like. Okay. So this will pull up the building owner's information. So they've got two, what looks like landlines here, right? So this will have a mobile phone indicator or icon. So these are two landlines. This one at the top is what they think is most likely to be her number. Here's a couple emails for her mailing address, uh, as well as anything in her database that she owns, right? So if she owned a couple properties in her name, this would also pop up there as well. And that's got the building information too. So very helpful when you're building your database. It works similar to, you know, if you've used CoStar or Prospect Now, it functions exactly the same. I think it's better than Prospect Now, but I don't think it's quite as good as CoStar. But again, it's concluded in what we get here at EXP. I pay a ton for CoStar, so that... Right. Well, did you know... Or, no. Now, are you on the, the national plan now? Because they converted over from having to do your... You know, like your little MSA for the fee. Uh, they're giving me the full US now. Yeah, I quit uh, using it just for a little while just because uh, I was busy with the restaurant and I had no need to uh, mess with it for the past four months. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like, well, I'm, and, I, and I've been paying for it for a really long time. So no, I haven't gone back to it. They keep asking. <laughs> but I did, if... I did see an email that came across my desk yeah. About so I might use Reonomy for now. There's also, they have here, I don't know if they've updated this slide yet, but there's the, um, we have kind of a CoStar replacement that they've engaged that is designed to replace CoStar. So you don't really need them in rich data. So this is a, an analysis tool that uh, appraisers will use. And it also has a bunch of comps and all the information you need that you would use for comps for CoStar is within here. Wow. And you can log in. It'll, it'll help you do a, an appraisal in like pretty much no time, you know, an hour or so you can do a full appraisal. Um, so there's, they're using that quite a bit. Listing wise. Let me ask you, I'm sorry, this mm -hmm. in, it's off topic and you guys want me to ask questions later. I can do that. Um, but uh, Lawrence, what do you think? Uh, we're going to, we're going to ask questions at the very end. Um, but if you okay. could write it down, Kelly, just to remember, yeah. you want to no get these slides sure, and, yeah. right to it. and we could spend a lot of time on each of these tools, but let's, yeah, let's talk about the questions at the end. I think that's a good idea because I've, I've gone for a long time just doing training on the different tools that we have. Uh, Agent Hub, I don't have a login for that, but it, I mean, this will do literally everything. It'll do uh, lead magnets. It'll the text 
people, um, you can build out a full system where you've got like, you know, someone signs up for your lead magnet and then you've got a whole drip campaign follow-up system. Uh, it'll post on your social media. It'll do all just everything like, uh, but you do have to build a lot of this yourself. So I'm not using it myself currently. Uh, it's very daunting because there's, it'll literally do everything for you, but they include that as well. Uh, and then this is the enriched data was the other thing I, I mentioned. So the enriched data, let's see if we can log into that real quick. Real quick, we won't go too far down the rabbit hole there. Uh, let's do this. I think this is the comps. Okay, so you can go in here and you can start to look for comps. Uh, you know what, actually? I am looking at a listing of an industrial property. So let's do some comps. I haven't looked this up yet, so I don't know what'll pop up here. So this is a, someone who's looking to sell his property for probably around two, 2.2. 2. And I have to do an analysis on it. So it's gonna pull up comps for me. And I know that it always pulls the map somewhere weird, but it's got the right comps here. And Dusty, if you're selling different products, obviously in, in the commercial side, if it's, if it's you know uh, restaurants, if it's, warehouses, mobile home parks, are you able to filter through this enrich uh, data? This does, yes, it sorts by product type. So you can see here it auto pulled a bunch of comps for me to, to select and use and I can just select whatever I want. Um, probably just these guys down here. And then it'll pull, a, it'll pull a full report for me on the property and I can use that in my analysis. So you, you've probably used CoStar. This is kind of a replacement for CoStar that helps us with the comps um, and that kind of information. And then it also has a side that does a, a full BPO for you as well. All right, and then we have all of our, so if you're familiar with uh, Airforms, they have all of the Airforms included. Uh, what EXP actually did, they took AIR and they said, look, you're in 11 states right now. We're going to take you national, but we want all of your forms for free for every single state. So if I have a purchase that I need to do in Tennessee, I can go to my Air Forms library. I can get access to the Tennessee library, and we can pull that down uh, for Tennessee. Um, there's an entire library for the for California. I will sh I'll show it real quick. We won't go in detail on it. Uh, let's see. Let's just use this sky slope. And you'll log in through Skyslope and Skyslope is where you uh, house all of your deals. This is where all of your transactions happen. They'll, they'll go very fluidly through a checklist depending on the property type. So if it's a lease, they'll have a certain checklist they'll want you to upload. If there's an issue with that, you can actually ask questions within here. They've got all of your documents as well. Let's take a look at those real quick. It'll let me here. There we go. So they've already uploaded. I've got all the commercial documents I ever need, letters of intent, purchase agreements, lease agreements, all kinds of everything I ever need. So you can see here, uh, there's a business broker area, uh, leasing, referral agreements. And then I've got my California database. So these are all California forms. You can see there's 10 pages of just California forms for anything I ever need. So I don't ever have to go digging around for stuff. I don't have to pay for AIR forms. I've got all of this included with what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if we have, I don't have any active transactions. Let's see what, they, what these look like real quick. I can show you maybe a checklist. Bear with me one sec. Okay. Uh, this might be good. This is a listing we had that we had to, to, to let go of because there were some issues with zoning. But you can see I filled all this out. It's got the contacts associated with the deal, commission checklist of what they need. 
So this is a retail strip center here and they had a list of what they would like. Um, some of them are required, some are if applicable, right? You upload all these and then they check them off and then you get paid directly to your bank account after closing. It happens very smoothly. And again, we've got the world here too. So we can actually log in to the world and ask questions. So I had some questions on some transactions. I went to the commercial transactions department. I talked to the guy who, uh, Jack is the guy who directly dealt with it and we got things resolved. Okay, so that's that. Uh, SkySoap talked about that, ESP commercial. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the stock portion of that. Lawrence, I don't know if we need to go over that. 80-20 uh, no, split, $20,000 yearly cap, probably the cheapest commercial brokerage you'll ever be at. Also, we have a lot of other cool stuff with that as well. Yeah, build out, uh, syndicates out. Uh, uh, this is with the, I believe, uh, enriched data. Yeah, we've got, part, so like Com Loan, for example, is a loan partner that can get you loan quotes like immediately. And then there's a, there's a focus on business brokering as well. Uh, another thing that you'll want to do is get on Workplace. Workplace is where when we're not in the world, we can connect with people. So uh, like, you know, the multifamily group means once a, month, once a month. I'm also on the multifamily specialty product group in Workplace, right? So you'll be auto assigned to like your states. Um, so I'm in a California commercial group here. Only California commercial agents are in that group. So you'll be auto assigned there and then you can connect with them there. Uh, they've got information on here on the multifamily group on when we meet. We can talk about deals and refer stuff back and forth. And basically, you know, it's like social media, but uh, kind of on steroids here. You got referral networks, um, all kinds of stuff. So these are just ones that I'm a part of. There's dozens and dozens of different groups within EXP. This is just within EXP when you're on workplace here. And uh, it's a good place to network. This is where I got. So the mobile home park we sold for $3.6 million in North Carolina. I got it from. Uh, here, someone found me on Workplace, said they needed some help, and we listed and sold it within, actually, we closed it in 48 hours. It was a, the fastest deal I've ever done. So make sure you get on Workplace. Uh, Brevitas is another tool they give us. This is kind of if you wanted to list something and not have, like if you don't have the listing agreement. So on this Rite Aid, I don't have the listing agreement. I know they want to sell it. They're good friends of mine. Um, so what I can do on here, they're not going to see the address when they log on here. They're just going to see uh, what I want them to see. They're going to have to sign an, an NDA before they get released any information. So it kind of protects me when you don't have a listing agreement uh, as well. Same thing here. We pulled this from the market, but it's still up there uh, if someone wanted to inquire on it. So that's included as well. And we did it in wrench data. I think I tried to go as quick as possible. Hopefully uh, that covers most of it. Um, Lawrence, was there anything else I should cover right now? Uh, basically, uh, Kelly, I just wanna make sure you know how to gain access to enterprise to see your actual production numbers. I don't. <laughs> let's, let's cover that, that portion of it for enterprise uh, there. There it is. So here's the uh, login, right? Enterprise.com. And correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Dusty, when you come over as a commercial agent in your enterprise, you have a marketing department for just strictly for commercial marketing, correct? Uh, you know, I haven't used it that much. I believe we do. Um, I've used, like you can see here, I've got all of my links Ready? So if I have any anything I need, I just, as, as I was onboarded, I just popped them over here so I can just click the link there and uh, go, go to where I need. Oh, Perfect. It's not logging me in. And Kelly, what I did for you just now in the chat box, I put the EXP commercial marketing department. That link will take you straight to the marketing just for commercial. That is pretty much templates in there that you can utilize to, to create, you know, uh, uh, brochures, business cards, any marketing online, all that stuff. Just take a look at that link right there. 
they give you access to it. Yeah, it looks like it looks like this is still kind of geared toward the realty side, which is fine. Um, that link he, he gave you should give you a lot of the this type of stuff, but on the commercial side uh, that you'll want to ha have access to. There's stuff like here, like we have uh, shares that we we get assigned every time we do our job. We get shares of stock uh, within EXP if we uh, cap out we get stock if we have hit a certain gci number we actually get all of our cap back in stock as well and then uh, every time i close a deal i can i have an option to take a percentage of my commissions and at a discounted rate uh buy stock as well so it's you know there's kind of really promoting that as well i don't know that there's a lot of commercial stuff in here uh for us right now it's really just kind of on the on the all these different links that we've got okay so what um lawrence unless there's something else i, I imagine we have some questions too to answer let me see. yeah yeah and then uh, just another thing too kelly i'm not sure if you you if you have an actual office that you go to every day or if not what we do get provided with with exp commercial and exp realty is a regis account I own a WeWork kind of space. <laughs> okay, kind of so space. so basically that's a, that's a sister company. So you still have access WeWork. to WeWork. Yeah, it's not WeWork, but yes, I know about it because Larry told me all about it. He met me at our um, WorkShare space. Okay, perfect. So just so you know, that's, that, that membership is included with right. your membership with EXP Commercial. Um, so you have access to Regis and WeWorks. They're... they're they're, um, that's the sister company of Regis. So you have access to right. both. Yeah. So if you ever did need a physical place, you could, I mean, they've got access to that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are y'all ready for questions? Yep. Go ahead with the questions. Okay. So um, the listing sites, what listing sites would you guys say that you're using that's comparable to CoStar? I mean, I use Crexy, um, mm -hmm. and I, like I said about, I can't remember, about four to five months ago, maybe, um, I stopped using CoStar mm -hmm. um, just because I wasn't ready to sell these properties. But I have like 12 million in properties that I have to put on the market probably this week I should I meant to do it last week okay. so um I need to actually work on this which is my plan and if you guys if I need to get back on CoStar I'm going to get back on CoStar but if you guys think that uh in your experience that first doing the EXP and all of the offerings that it has for marketing the property will work then I don't want to do co-star. So that's my question. And then I, Dusty, Dusty yeah, I, you off, but really quick is, correct me if I'm wrong, Crexy is a part of, is one of the commercial tools that that is with EXP, correct? Crexy is not yet. Okay. Uh, Crexy will allow you to list it for free. Crexy functions very similar to, I mean, she's familiar with this uh, uh, LipNet. However, instead of collecting data and then selling it back to you, um, for, for much more, uh, you could, you could have a paid account at Crexy. You could have a free account and list whatever you want. You could have a paid account and have access to an insane amount of data where you can, you know, I could pull down like the mobile home park. I had it up there on, on, and I could just pull down all of the mobile home park people who search similar stuff. They didn't look at my account on LoopNet. You don't see it until they click on something. Um, Crexy's got a lot more fluid uh, information for you. Yes. Um, so you could list there for free. Um, I have an account with Prexy. So yeah, I would absolutely pay for that. Um, you get a lot of information, especially in your, your niche, you can get a lot of data and build that database. Yes. Okay. So, uh, but, but kind of short answer is I would use CoStar. Um, just cause I mean, just, just so much to it. Um, all the reports you can pull down. And I think eventually they're going to join EXP. They tried last year. I think they played some hardball with EXP. So the EXP brought on some of these other resources. Uh, they just didn't want to increase our fees. And I, I think eventually they'll they'll join on. It'll probably just take some time. 
Okay. All right. So still, you know, my, I don't think I need them for anything data wise in my properties that I'm looking at selling are um, very, very unique to the market. So, um, I mean, I've got an $8 million fishing pier. So that, <laughs> where do you put that? So I was thinking more just for exposure on it. Right. Do you still think CoStar is still the number one for exposure of it? Uh, they're, they're just, they're, they're the whale in the market. That's just okay. in case. Correct okay. is good. Uh, when, now I was surprised when I, when I plug things in here on build out, I got a lot of leads from the different things that I syndicated it out to. Right. So like Yardy surprised me. They own um, property shark.com, I think, or something like that. And I got a bunch of leads uh, just from syndicating out. So I would definitely use this. Okay. Um, and make sure you hook up your different accounts. You know, if it's a specialist type of property, like a fishing pier, um, there may be some syndications here that they can hook up to that might fit that space, right? So you got office space and different type of listing places, you get tenant base, broker's list. Also, um, Kelly, don't forget to join uh, Workplace by Facebook. That's a great yeah. place to, to pull your, your listings because yeah. you're not only going to get, you know, whatever state you're lo located in, but you're going to get global wherever we're at throughout the world, be able to have eyes on it. Okay. All right. Yep. Also in the chat, I'm putting a FAQ link in there for you as well for just commercial only. So you may want to save that link as well. Okay. Did you have any more questions at all? No, um, I know that in workplace, right, you can join whatever group, like, so you're automatically, if you say you're in Houston, you're automatically part of the Houston commercial group. And just like you, Dustin, are in California, so you're automatically part of that group. Can you join? We get a lot of, oh, I'm sorry, we get a lot of clients out of California. So... Okay having can i join that group i've done that so uh, like i said a lot of my stuff's out of state so i have to join the other state groups okay so, so you have, can, i meant I yeah can. you'll just have to apply you're not automatically okay. in you'll just have have to apply and you'll have hey i would like to join because of x right yes. um i've got some referrals for you guys i'm, I'm sure they'll let you in okay also kelly you'll get a lot of residential agents that will try to refer commercial deals out to you as well. So it's good to join as many as groups as you can. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. 